In this video, we're going to prove two important properties or two fundamental properties of the projection matrix. That it is symmetrical, and if you apply it twice, take the square, you just get the projection matrix. Um, matrices where you square them and just have the original matrix are sometimes called indipotent matrices. We're going to prove both of these properties in this video. A reminder that the playlist for all the videos is at the website digital-university.org. Now, before we consider whether the projection matrix is symmetrical or not, let's say that we have a matrix and that it is non-singular, so that its inverse exists. And our matrix not only is non-singular, but is also symmetrical. So if our non-singular matrix is symmetrical, it equals its transpose, what about its inverse? Does, I shouldn't say does, we'll say is its inverse also symmetric. So we have a non-singular matrix. It is symmetrical. What about its inverse? Is that also symmetric? That is, does B minus 1 transpose equal the inverse. Is that true, provided that this is true? Well, if this is non-singular, we know that this times its inverse is equal to the identity matrix. Or we could write this on this side either way. It works on either side. That's a basic property of a genuine inverse. Well, let's take the tra let's work with this equation and take the transpose of both sides. So we have b, the inverse transpose equals the transpose of the identity matrix, but that is just the identity matrix. And now this is equal to, remember we reverse the order of multiplication and take the transpose of the inside um, parameters here, the inside components. So we'll have B inverse transpose times B transpose equals I. And if we do the same thing with these equations here, we will have B transpose times B inverse transpose equals I. And what this shows, and in fact we did this in a previous video, these equations show that, okay, B is non-singular, it's also symmetrical, and its transpose also has an inverse. It's this right here works on both sides. So its transpose is also non-singular. We proved that in a previous video. And what is the inverse of B transpose? It is this right here. This times its inverse equals I. This times its inverse equals the identity matrix. So B transpose, its inverse is this, and it looks confusing. But what this is saying is that for B transpose, its inverse is, you take the inverse of B and take its transpose. And that's what this equation is right here. 
but B transpose, that's just B. So we have here B inverse, that's from this side. B transpose is just B. That was our original setup, equals this. So here we have then B inverse is equal to what's transpose. In other words, this is symmetric. So if we have a matrix, say A, and this is a symmetric matrix, then it's symmetric and it's non-singular, so it has an inverse. This is symmetrical. Its inverse is also symmetrical. And we'll use that fact in just a moment here. Now notice, remember that when we had our projection matrix, we had this, and we showed that in the previous video that this is non-singular. So here then we have the projection matrix P is A Okay, and we've shown before that this is a symmetrical matrix. A transpose A is symmetrical. Therefore, its inverse is also symmetrical. So A transpose A inverse. Let's write this a little bit neater. A transpose A inverse. If I take the transpose of this, this is symmetrical. So we just get A transpose A. Remember, we showed before that this is symmetrical. Therefore, its inverse is also symmetrical. We've just proven that. So this A transpose A inverse, take that transpose, it's just going to be this. This is going to be equal to itself. The transpose is just whatever is inside here. It is symmetrical. If we have a matrix that is symmetrical, it is equal to its transpose. So here we have, this is our matrix expression. It is equal to its transpose. That's what symmetrical means. So now, here we have the projection operator. It's equal to this. Now let's take its transpose. So this transpose will be this side transpose. And how do we do that? We reverse the order of multiplication and take the transpose of what's inside. So here we're going to have, this is on the left now with the transpose. So you have A transpose, transpose. Then we have this transpose, but that's just itself, because this is symmetrical. So we have A transpose A inverse, and then we have this transpose. But of course, A transpose transpose, that's just the original matrix A. So we have P transpose is 
this, but that is our matrix P. So we see that it's equal to its transpose, so P itself is a symmetrical matrix. So that's what we want to show here. Now, what happens if we have P squared? So let's make some room for that. P squared we have A A transpose A multiplied together inverse A transpose there's P and now we got to have it again so we have A times A transpose A inverse A transpose. That's P squared. But we have here A transpose A. Here we have its inverse. So this is just the identity matrix. So P squared is just A don't want to write this in, that's just the identity matrix times A transpose A inverse from here times A transpose. And that of course is just the identity matrix. So that's what we wanted to demonstrate. So again, two fundamental properties of the projection matrix it is symmetrical and it is indipotent. Okay, now finally in the next videos then what we can do is start applying our projection matrix and everything that we've learned about it to solving specific types of least squares problems.